Today we're going to be talking about something you can do to protect your gear before disaster strikes. Stay tuned. So we probably all live the scenario where we scrimp and save our hard-earned money to buy that specific piece of gear that we've been lusting over. Uh, sure, it's expensive, but we're worth it. We take it, we bring it home, and we're in love, and we love playing it. We want to squeeze out every single second of enjoyment out of it. But at the back of our mind, we're always worried that something nasty could happen because it's expensive. So today we're going to be talking about one way that you can protect your expensive gear and make sure that you don't have any issues down the line. So I recently purchased an FM9 from Fractal and I thought about, you know, finding some kind of product that would be insurance. Uh, to make sure that nothing happens down the road. I mean, I've been in scenarios where shows get a little bit feisty, the beer starts to flow, you know, maybe the bassist has one too many and hurls over, you know, your unit or somebody spills beer on it or maybe the backup singer trips over a lead with her high heels and, you know, stabs the center of the screen with her, you know, stiletto heels. That's never fun. Or the singer is getting carried away during that rendition of Who Are You and swinging the microphone just to swing it up into the air and, you know, smack your unit to leave a big unsightly dent. Believe it or not, that stuff happens more than you think. So for my fractal, I reached out to KMK Shields and purchased a set of these. Now at first glance, they might not seem like much, but these plexiglass shields that have been precisely CNC cut to fit my FM9 work perfectly. They are easy to install, they snap in place with a series of magnets and all of the holes for the knobs and the switches are really precisely cut. So once these are on, your device just became bulletproof. If something gets spilled, you just wipe it off, you know, and they're thick enough to withstand quite a bit of impact. So I'm confident that these shields will help protect not only the lifespan of my unit, but also possibly the resale value because I won't have any insightly scratches or dings or marks on the unit because these things will take all of the impact. So if you're like me and you thought these little pieces of plastic were actually going to protect anything on your FM9, you can actually go ahead and remove them because they don't do a darn thing. So what you actually do need are these beautiful shields that slip right on your device, snap right in place. And these magnets hold in place extremely well. I'm trying to pull them off now through the center of uh, the shield here and I'm having a hard time. So that's great. I don't think they're going to fall off and um, they don't take much room and you can, you know, put them on easily, take them off if you need to but they're extremely well made, snap in place nicely so that the edges are nicely matched up and even uh, all the knobs and switches work perfectly. There's nothing blocking the functionality of the unit and uh, even the buttons that are here can be accessed. What's interesting is not only all the knobs and switches work perfectly, there's nothing that interferes uh, with these shields. Uh, also, the buttons here that are at the top of the unit are also protected because they are inset now. So if you should step on this accidentally, you won't be stepping on the buttons. You'll be hitting the shield instead. Isn't that great? These come off just as easily as they go on and the rare earth magnets hold everything in place. They don't scratch anything. So if you want to go without, you can. If you want to go with, you can, depending on the scenario that you're working with. But I like to keep them on. It's very discreet. It doesn't change the thickness of the unit. So it fits in my carry bag just as it did before. And super solid. I'm not worried about anything cracking or the screen breaking by accident now that these K and K shields are on my unit. Now K and K is a relatively new company. 
So they're a little bit hard to reach. You have to contact them through Facebook or Instagram or Messenger, but they're very responsive. And if you do contact them, you can send them your, your shipping information and your payment, and you will get your beautiful shields in just a matter of days. Now, if you don't have an FM9, not to worry because they do make these products for a host of other devices, including the FM3, the Quad Cortex, and others. Now, the shields are not all the same price depending on the model you're looking for, so it's best to contact them before you place your order. I highly recommend you guys take a look at these shields for yourself. k, &K makes an excellent product and uh, it was one of those things like hey why didn't i think of that it's a great idea so i'm hoping that they're going to be producing shields like this for more and more units out there so you can protect all your gear heck you don't want to throw your money away you worked hard for it and you want to protect your gear and this is a perfect easy way to do it so check out the knk shields i will put the link down in the comments below if you have any questions about these shields please reach out to me let me know what you think Consider subscribing because there'll be more great reviews just like this one on Addicted to Gear.